Definitely did not expect that. Good morning from day number three on the Disney Magic. Today is an exciting day. It is Castaway Key Day, our favorite day on any Disney Cruise Line itinerary. Yeah, I'm super excited. We have an adventure booked today, a yeah. Stingray adventure, which we've never done before. We've never booked a port adventure at Castaway Key. No. So I'm really excited to see what it's all about. And like Matt said in our last video, I think we're gonna spend a lot of time on the family beach this time. Yeah, we're gonna try a couple things that we normally don't do. Maybe we'll get to meet some characters. But first, we have to start the morning off with breakfast bright and early, and then we have to get off the ship because we have to enjoy every minute that we possibly can. So we're gonna head over to Cabana's, get a quick bite to eat, and then we'll make our way off of the ship. Making our way down to the opposite side on deck nine, where Cabana's is, passing the family pool and Pinocchio's Pizzeria. Pretty light so far, not too many people here. Everything looks so good for breakfast. They got some eggs and hash browns over here. We're gonna see what we're gonna get. Is it a thing to have miso soup for breakfast? I've only ever had miso soup in like a Japanese restaurant. I know, but they always have it here for breakfast. It's so weird. Yeah, they have it along with like some chicken dishes, some mushrooms. There it is on the left. I've never had miso soup for breakfast or even seen it as a breakfast item. So we just sat down for breakfast in Cabanas. Look at this view we got of everyone getting off of the ship. You can see a lot of the crew members down there assisting some guests. Well, look at the weather for today. Absolutely beautiful. I said this on our last cruise too, but it always amazes me that as you're on the ship, they're actually like maintaining and taking care of things. We're seeing guys paint railings and do like all these different touch-ups. And just like that, one, two, three, we are off of the ship. Here is the Disney magic. Look at the aqua dunk hanging over the side of the ship. We've touched down. We're in Castaway. I know. I'm, I'm excited to see the back of the ship. We didn't even see it yet with Goofy on it. I know. We have to take a picture. They have this little car out, which means some of the characters must not be too far away. This is how they get around the island. Hi, Dale. How are Hello. You? I love hey, you. Hey, Chip. How are you? Oh, uh, some knuckles. You ready for a day at the beach? You look good. You got your nice bathing suit on. So make sure you put some sunscreen on. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go with some stingrays. Oh, sunscreen on the nose. There you go. Can't yeah, forget that. Ready. Can't forget that. That was a great way to start our day here at Castaway Key, meeting Chip and Dale. Now it's time we're going to make our way over to the family beaches. And they have some awesome photo ops around the island, so make sure you take advantage. Over here at Mount Rustmore, you can get your picture with all of the Disney characters. And then look at this, they even have 25th anniversary banners up here too. Oh, and a 25th anniversary medallion. This is a great picture. And one thing that I am noticing so far is the difference in crowds. So we're on one of the smaller ships. There's about 1,500 less people on Castaway than when you would come on the Dream and the Fantasy. And there is plenty of room, plenty of chairs, plenty of space. This is really, really nice. So we're trying to figure out which beach we are gonna post up at. There is the first family beach, and then there's the second one that has uh, Pelican Plunge, which is the slide. So we're just trying to see, but there are a lot of chairs out. Like I said, you could definitely notice a difference when you come on like, I guess the Magic or even the Wonder, even though they go to Alaska at the moment, but you can definitely feel the difference in terms of the crowds. And look at this. This is one of the family beaches and there is barely anybody in the chairs here. And it's not super early. It's not like we were the first ones off. It's about 11, 11 15, maybe even 11 30 at this point. I mean, I can't believe the difference. There's so many chairs, there's so much space. Like, I mean, there's always enough chairs, even on the Dream and the Fantasy, but like, there is way less people. It's yeah. crazy. I mean, there's not like, there's barely a soul in sight over here. I kind of do eventually just want to take a ride over to Serenity Bay and totally. see and see what it's like there, because last time it was crowded. We had to walk like all the way down the beach to find a chair. So I'm wondering what it's like now with the smaller crowds. Yeah, we're definitely going to check it out. We're still trying to figure out where we're going to have our lunch too. Yeah. Whether we're going to go to Serenity Bay or if we're going to try cookies. But mm -hmm. yeah, we'll definitely go over there. Yeah. All right, we're making our way into the water for the very first time. I always love this water. Look how blue it is. It is beautiful. We got, hey, look, it's Scuttles' family. Scuttles' family is hanging out here on Castaway. There's even some pretty nice sized fish in the water. Look, that's one right there. Look at that. There's some more over there. Wow, the water feels so good too. It's like the perfect temperature 
You could just walk right in. Starting to get a little cloudy over here. It's looking a little bit gray. Our cruise director did say there was a chance of rain this afternoon. Yeah. But fingers crossed. Yeah, we're gonna eat lunch. We're gonna do our stingray adventure. And then I think after that, we might head over to Serenity Bay. So the rain has held off so far. It's a little overcast at the moment, but I will take that over rain. It's time for some barbecue though. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that hungry because I feel like we just ate breakfast, but now is the time we have to eat because then we have to go on our adventure. And I think the barbecues are only open until two. Yeah, so we would have to eat now, otherwise we have to skip lunch. Yeah, and um, we've never eaten at Cookies because we always eat over at Serenity Bay. So this is gonna be our first time eating here. So here we are, we are at Cookies Barbecue. Again, like we said, we haven't eaten here before. We've only eaten at Serenity Bay. So we're over by Cookies and look at all the fresh fruit they have. All different types of like whole fruits. There's some sliced fruits over here too. This looks really, really good. There's some pineapple, apples, bananas. Let's see what they have. Looks like there's some potato chips. There's a red skin potato salad. There's a grilled sweet corn salad. A macaroni pasta salad, coleslaw, and then some tropical fruit. And then over here there is hamburgers, cheeseburgers, hot dogs. There's a barbecue brisket sandwich, rotisserie chicken. Lots of good things. And then for the desserts, of course, you have cookies. This is Cookies Barbecue. Chocolate brownies, cornbread, and pineapple muffins. So we got our lunch from Cookies Barbecue. We got a couple of burgers. Of course, how to get a cookie. You can't come to Cookies without getting one of those. A little pasta salad, and then some fresh fruit. And then Alex got some pasta salad, fruit, a burger and a cookie as well. So this all looks really, really good. We're gonna dig in and digest a little bit and then we're gonna head over for our Stingray adventure. The clouds cleared up after lunch. We have ourselves a beautiful day. I don't see like a gray cloud in sight. So I think we're in the clear for the rest of the day. Oh good, I'm glad. Yeah. I was scared that it was gonna rain and we were gonna have to just get back on the boat. And no matter how many times we've been here, it is just as beautiful every single time. And we were actually saying at lunch, I don't think there's ever gonna be a scenario where we go on a Disney cruise and stay on the ship on Castaway Day. Even if you don't do an excursion, even if you just hang out at the beach, it is too nice to pass up. And as you're walking around Castaway Key, make sure you look at some of the signs that are on some of the buildings. They have J Valley Marine Services, and of course, Jeff Valley is the president of Walt Disney World. So right next to the first gift shop, it's almost like a blink and you miss it. There's this little walkway over here and then you can see the sign, Castaway Ray's Stingray Adventure. We are gonna head this way. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> how many times have I said that it's today? It's so nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. We're gonna go get checked in, see what this is all about, and then we're gonna snorkel and feed some stingrays. We're just about to get checked in for the Stingray Adventure. Here's a quick look at the pricing. It's $56 for adults and $45 for children. Ourselves a nice quick orientation. The orientation is just to let you guys know a little bit more about the ring before you begin to feed them. So everyone, welcome to Stingray Adventures. Guys, are you ready? Yes! Hold on, what's going on with this side? <laughs> All right, you guys are ready? Yeah! Got our scuba gear or our snorkeling gear. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm actually like a little bit scared to swim with them. No, they don't have the stingers. I know, but they're big. I don't like big <laughs> things in the water. I'm Jasmine Lewis. My name is Sadie. I'm your facilitator for the day. I'm going to teach you guys how to be the stingray. Stingray is going to enter on the left, exit on the right. If you see a stingray that comes up on this side, please do not feed that stingray. If you see a stingray that comes up and makes a U turn. <laughs> wow. When you see a stingray come up close enough, then you just gotta gently remove your hands. When you have to place and hold the food down like this, when the stingray comes in about this close, then you just gotta gently remove your hands away. Oh, here comes one. Oh, oh. Go? Oh. Ah, here he comes. Okay, guys, this is oh. Sandy. <laughs> if you want to pet Sandy, you could. Wow. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah. I just thought that she has here. <laughs> That is awesome. They're so slimy. I know. And <laughs> it was kind of like, you have to not jerk your hand away when they swim over you. You gotta slowly. I kind of like pulled the hand away fast. <laughs> oh here comes one. Oh, yeah. Here comes Natalie by this orange mug that she has right here. 
Oh yeah, feel it? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was, I was feeding it, one was under my legs. I literally had to like. <laughs> here comes one, here comes one. Do you wait till it goes over your hand and then? Okay. Yes, this there is, is Rainbow Bright. We tell Rainbow Bright by this mod. Yeah, she didn't get this one. <laughs> comes another one. This one that she has right here on top of her head. We tell Phoebe by this mark that she is here on top of her head right here. Hello. Oh, she didn't take my shrimp. <laughs> That is so she, cool. She didn't take it. She didn't eat yours? Oh yeah, you still have it. Yeah. Ready to go. I'm scared. <laughs> now we get to snorkel with them for a little while. So we're gonna get in the water and see if we can get a little bit up close and personal with some of these rays. So we just finished up Castaway Ray's Stingray Adventure. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. The whole experience was about an hour. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it was $56 per person. And it was cool. We got to feed like three or four different stingrays, maybe five, I can't remember. And then you get to snorkel with them afterwards. Yeah, it was really cool. And you know what amazed me is that they know them all by name. Yes. By like the, their different markings, their tail, like all different stuff. Every time one would swim in, she would tell us their name. I think one was named like Peppermint Patty <laughs> or something. It was really cool. I've um, never swam with stingrays before, so I'm really glad that I got to do it. I don't know if we would ever like do it again. Right. It, it's kind of like a one and done thing, but yeah. I am really glad that we did it today. Yeah, it's definitely something we could recommend. If you've never done it before, we do recommend you checking it out. Probably not something you're gonna do every single time you come to Castaway, but it's a good way to spend an hour. You know we couldn't have our Castaway Key Day end without stopping by Serenity Bay. And if you guys are not familiar with what Serenity Bay is, it's an adults only beach. And you have to be 18 and older to enjoy. Now it is 2.30 in the afternoon, so we only have about two hours. And this is obviously a smaller ship that we're on, so I'm really curious to see how crowded the beach is at this time. And there is barely anybody here. Look at this. This is amazing. Now it is a little bit later in the day and we are on a smaller ship, but look, there's like 10 people here. <laughs> this is crazy. The last time we were here, we parked like all the way down. We had to walk. We like, parked. We, <laughs> we found chairs all the way down. We parked ourselves <laughs> all the way down. We had to walk so far to find chairs. I, I've never seen it this empty. No. I mean, partially because we're here kind of like later. I know we only have two hours left, but there's like a handful of people here. We have basically the beach to ourselves. We've never experienced anything like this. <laughs> Look at you. There's not a, a soul in sight around you. It's so nice. <laughs> you have the whole beach to yourself. This water is just like crystal clear. I actually counted it. There's 12 other people besides us right now. Let me just take a look. There's just a couple of people in the water, a couple of people by the chairs. There's really no one here. I feel, like, I feel like we got like stranded on an island. Yeah, like Tom Cruise and <laughs> Castaway. No <laughs> yeah. pun intended because we're on Castaway Key. We are pretty much the only people in the ocean. There's like one other couple behind us, but this is just incredible. I'm really glad we decided to come here at the end of our day because we didn't spend a lot of time on Serenity Bay today. Normally this is where we spend a lot of our time, but we wanted to switch things up, try some things we haven't experienced yet, but I'm glad we came here because this is like, I don't want to say a once in a lifetime experience, but to get this few people on the island, it's really, really cool and super relaxing. It's a great way to end the day. This is the way to do it. I feel like we should do this every time, like spend the last few hours out here. Yeah. I mean, it might not be like 
this every time, but it's nice to end the day, like relaxing on the beach, in the water. Yeah. I don't know. I really like it. Yeah. And when we get home, we're going to do a whole video about like the differences between the larger ships and the mm -hmm. smaller ship. This is going to be on that list. Yeah. Because I, if you were on a dream or fantasy, like you're not coming to Serenity Bay probably at any point and having like nobody this here. few people, yeah. I mean, maybe there'll be like a little bit more people, but I mean, this is crazy. I kind of wish we came earlier to see what it was like in peak time. Yeah. I don't know. I, I like that we did a few things that we've never done before, though. There's currently two people still sitting on the beach, so we just missed being the last guest by two people. But we're some of the last ones here on Serenity Bay for the day. And just like that, the day at Castaway has come to an end. We are getting back on the Disney magic. Have to take showers and get ready for the evening fun. Get ready for dinner. See what kind of fun we're going to get into. So cool when you're in port and then you have the cruise ship just like right here. So close, you can pretty much touch it. So we just got back to our stateroom and our stateroom host left us our pirate night bandanas. Of course, tonight is Pirate Night, but we're going to be eating dinner at Palo, so we won't be having the Pirate Night menu, but afterwards we'll be enjoying all the pirate festivities. So we both have to take showers, get ready for dinner, and there's some characters that are out meeting and greeting. The Disney Fab Five and a few other friends meet in like Pirate Night outfits, so that'll be pretty cool to see. They're also showing the Haunted Mansion tonight because there is no show in the Walt Disney Theater. They're going to be showing the movie and they there's never a show in the theater on the night of Pirate Night. So I don't think we're going to see Haunted Mansion tonight. We're going to save that for our sea day tomorrow. But yeah, we're going to have dinner at Apollo. We decided to do that on Pirate Night because we are not big fans of the Pirate Night menu. We've had it a few times and we're, we don't really care for it. So we're going to have Apollo tonight instead. I'm excited to see how dinner compares to brunch. So we're going to go get ready. We'll see you guys in a little bit, but for you, it'll feel like one second. Outfit of the night. We did a quick change. We're ready for Palo. We do have a little bit of time. We're going to see if there's any characters or like photo drops out that we could take pictures with. And then we're going to go to Palo. Just wanted to call out Palo does have a dress code. We got a message from guest services about it just as a friendly reminder. It says, greetings from your Palo team. We look forward to seeing you tonight to preserve an elegant atmosphere. We would like to remind you that shorts t-shirts, swimwear, sports attire, and flip-flops are not permitted. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to be dining in Palo, there is a dress code, no shorts, no t-shirts, no cruise casual. You have to dress up a little bit more. You saw what Alex is wearing. I have a polo shirt on as well as a pair of dress pants and dress shoes. So nothing crazy, but you just can't wear shorts and a t-shirt. We are out to sea. We pulled away from Nassau just under an hour ago. What a beautiful view we have here. Now's a good time to shop. There was barely anybody in the gift shop. So we're gonna take advantage, maybe do a little bit of shopping or at least, you know, some window shopping. See if anything catches our eye. Ooh, right away, something caught my eye. They have the Disney Cruise Line Nike golf hats. I'm a big fan of these. I have the Mickey one in black, which you probably have seen in other videos. I also have one from Alani. That's really nice, I might have to get that. And they even have this hat in blue. I might have to get this now because there's only two blue hats left. And sometimes when things run out on the cruise ship, you can't get them again. So I'm gonna hold on to this. I also found some more Disney Cruise Line Nike polos here. This one's like a little bit thicker than the standard one, but there's only one large. So I'm gonna hold on to it for the next few minutes. They also have this blue one with the stripes. I like the material of this one better, but I'm not crazy about the color. Some of my favorite things that they sell in the stores here are the different pieces of artwork. A lot of them are nautical themed. This one is so cool. I remember seeing this on our last cruise when we were on the Fantasy. We've got Sorcerer Mickey looking over the ship. Here's Mickey and the gang all dressed up. You have a whole collection of 2023 merchandise, some t-shirts, hats. Coffee mugs, tumblers, towels. For $35, they sell this Disney Cruise Line Christmas ornament set. You have Mickey and Minnie, the ship, the logo, and then a little Cruise Line snowman. Look, Alex found the mother load of Disney Cruise Line Christmas ornaments. It's like they got some nice ones. Yeah, I mean, they are expensive though. Like the ones that we were just looking at are $30 a piece. They also have plush versions of the characters in their Cruise Line outfits. There's Captain Minnie, there is Donald, Pluto is down here, and then Goofy, 
They don't have any more Mickeys, but they do have Duffy. So if you're into Duffy's, they do have a cruise line one. So Pirate Mini is out meeting on deck number four. There's also some live music happening outside of Lumiere's. So our dinner reservation isn't for another like 30 minutes. So we're gonna head up to Palo, see if there's like maybe a little lounge or something we could just hang out in because there's not too many activities happening on the ship right now. So we're just gonna go see, we do a little bit of exploring. I don't think we've been over on this side of the ship yet. We just sat down in Palo for dinner and just wanted to give you a quick look at the menu over here. So many different things to choose from. And there is two ways that you can kind of order your meal. You can order over here this way for $50 per person. You can choose one course from each of these four or you can order a la carte and you can see all the different prices next to that. And our server also did say that if you did do the $50 per person one and you wanted to add something on, you can always do that too. So it was a really hard decision deciding what we wanted. We both ended up doing a la carte because we wanted to try like a few different things. And the main courses that we wanted weren't on the uh, fixed menu. So we went with a la carte. We got two appetizers, two entrees, we got a pizza, and then everybody's been raving about the chocolate souffle. souffle. So I'm really excited to try that. Later. It's gonna be a lot of food. Uh, it is, but maybe we'll bring some back to the room for like a late night snack. And of course, you can't start any meal, especially an Italian meal, without bread. There are three different types of bread here. So we're not going to load up too much on this. We might have a little bit of each because we have a lot of food coming our way. And it's time for our first courses. This is the burrata with some balsamic on it. That looks so, so good. And here is the fried calamari. And it comes with a jumbo shrimp. They both look absolutely amazing. The burrata was so good. That cheese, oh my god, it just like exploded in the middle. The calamari is so good as well. It's so tender. I haven't had anything yet that I dislike. Yeah, the calamari was really, really good, and that burrata is just incredible. Like, it is so fresh tasting, and then when you cut it open, all the cheese comes exploding out of the middle. It is really, really good. And now it is time for our main courses. I got the agnolotti, which is butternut squash, buffalo mozzarella, amaretti, sage brown butter, and basil. And I got the seared jumbo scallops with lemon artichokes, fava beans, pino grigio risotto. And then we also got the pizza bianca to share. So my scallops were so fresh and what I really liked also is that it's over a bed of risotto and the risotto is so good. It has like lemon and artichokes in it. So it was a good balance of like the seafood and the risotto. I don't think I could finish it all because it's, it's the risotto is a little bit heavier, but it, it's delicious. I loved it. I tried Max butternut squash raviolis, fantastic. And the pizza is so good as well. Like I kind of came in, not with like, high high hopes because brunch was so good on the fantasy and we were like I don't know if dinner is gonna be as good so far it has been delicious like I loved everything that we got that we ordered and then my butternut squash raviolis were so good and I'm not a big like ravioli eater but I wanted to try those because our server said that they are really, really good and they were fantastic. The butter that they were cooked in was so nice. It really added a lot of flavor to the dish. The little bit of amaretto cookies that were on there too, there was like cookie crumbles on top of the raviolis. Those were really, really good. And then the actual ravioli itself was cooked perfectly. It was like the perfect temperature, nice and tender, and it was the perfect amount. Like I, it was four, I think four, that came on the plate and ate all four of them. They were really, really good. And that pizza is fantastic. So if you were coming here and you're gonna try a few different things, make sure you get that pizza Bianca because it is really, really good. It's not as good as the pizza that we had at brunch, but it's really, really good. There's another pizza option on here as well. And I think that one has prosciutto on it. 
but we didn't get that one. We might try that one for next time, but the Pizza Bianca is fantastic. We've heard nothing but amazing things about the chocolate souffle here at Palo, so of course, we gotta try that for dessert. And then look what they brought us. A little plate that says happy anniversary. Since our anniversary was a few days ago, we're celebrating that, and a happy birthday. My birthday's on Monday, so nice touch. Very, very nice touch from the folks here at Palo. So everybody was right. The chocolate souffle is unbelievable. That was amazing. So sweet, so like good with like the cold ice cream on top and the warm souffle. Like I love when it's like the mix of like senses in there. I had a different souffle, I think the first night, and it definitely was not nearly as good as this. <laughs> this was where it's at. Our waitress was telling us that there was a lady before that loved the chocolate souffle so much that she was going to book another cruise just to get it. So that was like the most expensive chocolate souffle of her life. I don't remember what other desserts were on this menu, but this is the only thing that you should be getting when you come here. It was so, so good. It's just like, a, like Alex said, a warm cake with the ice cream on top. It was so good. Like I understand why that woman booked another cruise just to eat this again. I think we might have to do the same thing. But overall, we have been very, very impressed with Paolo. We'll give you our full thoughts once we're done and we're out of the restaurant, but everything was fantastic. So we just finished up our dinner over at Paolo, and I was very, very impressed. I came into this with, I don't want to say like low expectations, but lower expectations compared to brunch but it was really really good yeah we were looking at the menu before we came and we were like oh, I don't know if this is gonna like be as good as brunch yeah but we didn't have one thing that we disliked it was fantastic and of course the service was top-notch like it always is so I would definitely recommend coming here but we did say that brunch is the better deal yeah because definitely the better value it's $45 a person and you can order like as much as you want whereas here it was a little more expensive but the food was still excellent yeah when we did brunch on the fantasy like we had so much food yeah they do have a fixed price option like we showed you guys but we didn't do that we did mm -hmm. a la carte and it was just a little bit more expensive than it would have been if we did do the the fixed menu yeah. by like 20 to 25 dollars somewhere yeah. around there but overall it was a great experience a fantastic restaurant mm -hmm. and we'll definitely be back quick outfit change and now we're ready for pirate night <laughs> we got a spot up here on deck 10 we're gonna wait for mickey's pirates in the caribbean stage show and then right after that the fireworks are gonna be right over here now i want to see where our loudest pirates are this will be adult pirates Coolest hand moves on the seventh scene. Will you 
was really cool. Very, very different from what they do on the dream and the fantasy. That is more of like a show where you get to become a part of like Mickey's Pirate Crew and they have the song and everything like that. This was more of just like a dance party with the Disney characters and then Mickey comes rappelling down from the top of the ship. Definitely did not expect that. And then it kicked off the fireworks. It was cool. Definitely different. I think I prefer the show on the other ships a little bit more, but it was still fun nonetheless. We are back up in the room now, and tonight's towel animal looks like it's some sort of like squid or octopus. And look at this, even put my sunglasses on it. <laughs> that is really cool. But we also got our prepaid gratuities envelopes. And this is always sad because this means that the cruise is almost over. And if you're not sure really what this is or how this works, before you go on your cruise, you can prepay your gratuities for your server, assistant server, head server, and stateroom host. And on the final night of your cruise, you rip off the little green tabs for each person, and then you put them inside of the envelopes and you hand them to whoever it is you're supposed to hand them to. And if you wanna give them a little bit extra, you can do that too. Another day has come and gone here on the Disney Magic and sadly tomorrow morning when we wake up it's gonna be a sea day and it's also gonna be our final day, our final full day on board. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow though. Sea days are always fun because you could do a lot on the ship. You oh yeah. You go in the pools. I think we're also gonna try and catch Haunted Mansion tomorrow. Yeah, there's a lot of fun activities. And tomorrow, Sunday, July 30th, is the actual 25th anniversary yeah. of Disney Cruise Line. The Magic is the first ever ship that went out. And on July 30th, 1998, it was the first day that the ship sailed. Mm -hmm. So we are on, on the actual 25th anniversary of not only Disney Cruise Line, but the Disney Magic. Yeah, and when we booked this, we didn't even know that. I did so not realize it was, that. It was a nice surprise when we got on the ship and they started saying that. There's also families that they invited back onto yeah. the sailing that were on the first sailing, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll see what kind of special activities take place tomorrow. We have a full day ahead of us, so we have to get some rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future Disney Cruise Line videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.